I'm Adam Zvat, and we're using DaVinci Resolve, so I have some more secret sauce to give you guys today. Hey guys, post-production Matt here, and I just wanted to explain what a LUT is for anybody that's completely brand new to this, because I don't want to exclude anybody. A LUT, or a lookup table, is a preset that applies a color grade to your footage. It changes how the color appears by mapping input colors to output colors. Essentially, it's a shortcut to give your video a specific look, like making it more vibrant, muted, or matching a certain film style. It's commonly used in post-production to save time on the color grading process. If you ever want to see how a LUT's working underneath the hood, or you want your LUTs to be a little bit more flexible, and let's just say you like the contrast adjustment the LUT makes, or you like the color adjustment the LUT is making, well, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you could split it in half. So usually LUTs would be applied like this. We would just take them out of our folder right here, drag them in. And that doesn't always work the way we intend because I'm liking the color adjustment this LUT is making, but I really don't like the creative contrast this is adding because it just doesn't work with my footage. Usually we would go to our key output down here and turn this down to decrease the intensity. But as you can see, that doesn't really fix it because we're still getting a lot of compression in our shadows and our highlights and we're losing detail. So I'm going to delete this node. I'm going to make another node and you're going to hit Alt P on your keyboard. And I think that's Option P on Mac, if I'm not mistaken. This is a parallel mixer right here. This is going to combine the two nodes that we just split. So I'm going to set these two nodes off to the side. We're going to change the compositing mode on this top node to luminosity, and we're going to change the compositing mode on this bottom node to color. Then I'm going to apply the same node to both of these nodes. And we're splitting the LUT in half, so the top node is the contrast, and the bottom node is the color. And then we can go to the key output on each individual node, and I can turn this off. And now we're only seeing the color adjustment. Or if I turn the color adjustment node off, and then I turn this one back on, we're only seeing the contrast adjustment. So let's just say I wanted to keep the color adjustment. I could just turn this on and I can go to my vector scope and I can see what's going on. And as you can see, you can see what this LUT is doing. It's bringing those blues over to the teal and it's compressing all of those oranges into like a yellowy orange. Let's just make a look off of this real quick just to just to showcase this. So let's just say I wanted to condense this. I could select everything, right click, and I could choose create compound node right here. Boom. That compresses all of them to save you some space. And if you want to get back inside of it, you could just double click it. Let's combine that with what we learned last time. So we can go to composite mode and we can go to multiply 0 0.7. Let's roll back some saturation. And there you have it, guys. Before and after, before and after, and it's as simple as that. So if you want to learn how LUTs are really working, you, you can use this method and take a look at what's going on and use it to create your own LUTs in the future, just so you have a better understanding of the creative contrast and the color adjustments that the LUTs are making. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and go to the comments or DM me on my Instagram, and I will see you guys later.